Militaries around the world are locked in a perpetual contest. This contest drives relentless innovation. The goal is clear, field the most formidable fighting vehicles. Among the most critical are armored personnel carriers, or APCs. APCs are the stalwarts of modern ground forces. They transport troops into battle, provide fire support, and form the backbone of mechanized infantry. In this arena, two contenders stand out, the Kestrel and the Striker. The Kestrel, an Indian APC developed by Tata Group and DRDO, boasts cutting-edge technology and is rapidly gaining traction for its modular design. The Striker, a veteran of the Iraq and Afghanistan wars, offers combat-proven reliability. Analyzing their respective strengths and weaknesses reveals a great deal. We can learn how each vehicle stacks up in the modern battle space. This comparison will highlight the factors that determine battlefield dominance. Ultimately, it will answer a crucial question. Which APC reigns supreme? The Kestrel, developed by Tata in India, is a marvel of modern engineering. Designed for rapid deployment and maneuverability, the Kestrel prioritizes speed and agility on the battlefield. Its lightweight yet durable construction allows for swift movement across challenging terrain. This makes it ideal for rapid reaction forces and expeditionary operations. The Kestrel's engine, a high-performance diesel, delivers an impressive power-to-weight ratio. This translates into rapid acceleration and a top speed exceeding 70 miles per hour. Such mobility allows the Kestrel to outmaneuver adversaries and quickly redeploy to exploit fleeting opportunities in fluid combat situations. This agility is further enhanced by its advanced suspension system. The Kestrel's suspension system can be adjusted on the fly, allowing it to adapt to varying terrain conditions, from smooth roads to rugged mountains. This adaptability is crucial for navigating the unpredictable landscapes of modern battlefields. It ensures the Kestrel can maintain speed and stability even on uneven ground, minimizing crew fatigue and risk to the troops inside. While speed and agility are paramount, the Kestrel, made by Tata in India, doesn't skimp on protection. It features a composite armor hull, which provides superior defense against small arms fire and artillery shrapnel. The Kestrel can also be equipped with additional armor plates, providing enhanced protection against heavier threats, including rocket-propelled grenades. The Kestrel's modular design extends to its weaponry. It can be fitted with a variety of weapon systems depending on the mission requirements. Options include a remote-controlled weapon station armed with a heavy machine gun, a grenade launcher, or an anti-tank guided missile system. This flexibility allows commanders to tailor the Kestrel's firepower to specific threats. The Kestrel's firepower is further enhanced by its advanced fire control system, which provides the gunner with a stabilized turret and thermal imaging sights. This ensures accurate fire even when the vehicle is on the move. The Kestrel's digital battlefield management system allows for seamless communication and coordination with other units. This networked approach enhances situational awareness and enables coordinated attacks. Section 4. Striker Overview and Mobility The Striker, named after two American soldiers who posthumously received the Medal of Honor, is a testament to battlefield experience. The Striker emphasizes survivability and firepower. It has become a workhorse of the US Army. The Striker boasts a robust design. This design has been battle-tested in various theaters of operation. Powered by a Caterpillar diesel engine, the Striker is no slouch when it comes to mobility. It can achieve highway speeds of up to 62 miles per hour. Its eight-wheel drive provides excellent traction on a variety of surfaces. While not as nimble as the Kestrel, the Striker's robust suspension system allows it to navigate challenging terrain with relative ease. The Striker's true strength lies in its ability to withstand enemy fire. It features a unique slat armor design. This design is highly effective at defeating RPG attacks, a common threat in asymmetric warfare. 
The Striker can also be fitted with additional armor packages. These packages enhance its protection against mines and improvised explosive devices, or IEDs. The Kestrel, made by Tata in India, is an Indian APC known for its versatility and modern design. Section 5. Striker and Kestrel, Armor and Firepower The Striker's primary weapon system is the M151 Protector Remote Weapon Station. This station is typically armed with a 50 caliber machine gun. It can also be configured to carry a 40mm grenade launcher or a MK-19 automatic grenade launcher. This provides the Striker with formidable firepower to engage both light and heavily armored targets. The Striker's crew compartment is designed to protect its occupants from enemy fire and the effects of explosions. It features blast-resistant seats and a robust fire suppression system. The Striker can carry up to nine soldiers and their equipment. It provides them with a high degree of protection while on the move. The Striker's digital architecture enables seamless communication and data sharing with other units. This enhances situational awareness and battlefield coordination. The Striker's combat-proven design and robust capabilities have made it a valuable asset to the US Army. The Kestrel, an Indian APC made by Tata in India, also boasts impressive armor and firepower. It is equipped with a variety of weapon systems to engage different types of targets. The Kestrel provides excellent protection for its occupants, making it a formidable vehicle on the battlefield. Ultimately, it will answer a crucial question. Which APC reigns supreme? The Kestrel, made by Tata in India, and the Striker represent different design philosophies. The Kestrel, an Indian APC, prioritizes speed and agility. The Striker emphasizes protection and firepower. Each approach has merits and drawbacks, depending on the combat scenario. Understanding these trade-offs is essential for military planners. They must select the right tool for the job. The wrong choice could have dire consequences on the battlefield.